thing's rubbish. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Right in the Edge. Today we're going to be talking about the Lomography Digitalizer 120 film scanning mask. It's a mouthful. This item has made my life so much better. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of uh, film uh, type videos in the last three or four months. And the film holder that came with my Epson scanner was just rubbish. It, it just did not hold the film flat. And I was constantly fighting it. It took forever to load. So I, I decided to give this thing a try. It, um, it's very simple. It's very basic. <laughs> and, and it's not that expensive. So I ordered one, I think, it, yeah, it's on Amazon. I ordered this on Amazon. And it was probably one of the best pieces of equipment I've bought in a long time. Right now I'm scanning on an old Epson flatbed scanner. In the future I might be scanning with a digital camera. I don't have a macro lens right now, so it's really kind of my only option for scanning my negatives. I was having trouble using the old field holder for the Epson. It, um, I just struggled to get the negatives flat. Sometimes they'd bow and be touching the glass below it and causing Newton rings. The process was just terribly slow. And if I'm trying to do these in a video, I, I want to cut, save time wherever I can. My goal was to, to save time, but also to have decent quality. I wanted, some, I wanted a holder that held things flat. And this does a great job for that. This is probably one of the things that does better than anything is my negatives are, are way flatter. Um, in this holder than they ever were in my Epson, Epson, Epson film holder. It's, it's very basic. It's real simple to use. Um, basically, you just put the film in. It uh, just slides in. And you put this little holder Over these, over these pins, easier to do when you're not filming. And you close the gate onto the film, and it's all held together by magnets. Then you pull this out, you just lift it up, and you're ready to go. Very simple. Now this product is not its not new, it's been around for a long time. And I, I was aware it was out there. I just uh, was just trying to make it work, trying to make it work without it. And going on in the future, I will probably get a, a macro lens for my DSLR and use that for scanning. And possibly I might still get another, update my scanner as well. But either way, this, this holder will work, I think, excellent for both. If you've been thinking about getting something like this, I would highly recommend giving them a try. This isn't a sponsored thing. This is just a piece of gear that I bought this year that has really made my life a lot easier. Well, this is just a short little video. Just wanted to do a little review on this Lomography Digitalizer. I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> um, 
excellent product. And I think if, uh, I'll probably pick one up for 35 millimeter as well, because I've I'm, I'm, I'm been so happy with the way it holds the 120 film. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. This thing is just rubbish. This thing is just garbage. This thing is just rubbish. I just really want to speed the process, but still have good quality. And I really do think this excels in that. <laughs> Welcome to another Ride Ninja vlog. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Go lay down. <laughs> Suka, go on. Go on. <laughs> go lay down. <laughs> you think I'm talking to you, don't you? <laughs>